In this video, we are going to discuss about threat hunting and the interview questions asked on threat hunting in the interviews like uh, SOC analyst interview, SOC specialist interview, SOC engineer review, uh, SOC engineer interview or information security engineer review. As it is an important concept uh, when it comes to cyber security, so the questions are uh, expected on this particular topic. So let us uh, not discuss in deep uh, what exactly is a uh, threat hunting. Uh, we will discuss 15 different questions uh, in this video that will be asked on uh, the threat threat hunting concept. So basic question is uh, what is threat hunting? Cyber threat hunting is a type of active cyber defense. It's the practice of scanning across the network proactively and repeatedly to find and identify advanced threats that elude traditional security solutions. So this uh, threat hunting uh, has got its life cycle uh, that it starts from like uh, collecting data, uh, form hypothesis, hunt for more information, identify the threats or scan the threats and uh, once you have found out the threats you have to neutralize the threats. So this is like uh, the best explained uh, way, uh, way of explaining uh, uh, the threat hunting so that you can impress the interviewer. The next question is, can you differentiate between uh, threat hunting and penetration testing? Penetra penetration testing reveals how an adversary might get access to your environment. It highlights the dangers of not protecting the environment by demonstrating how various vulnerabilities might be exploited and exposing risky IT practices. Whereas threat hunting informs you of who is already there in your environment and what they are doing, how they are harming your environment or how they are stealing your environment. It discusses the current situation of the environment and the challenges posed to the company. Next question. Is it possible to find nothing in some threat hunting exercises? Yes. It is theoretically possible to find nothing in some threat hunting exercises, but it is not a complete waste of time because we may discover a few other vulnerabilities that we didn't ever experience or thought existed. So it is always good to conduct a thorough threat hunting process even if we don't find any potential threats. Can we utilize what's detected in the hunt to improve organization security? Yes, without a doubt, security teams can use the threat data obtained during a hunt to understand why they couldn't detect the threats and then devise a strategy for detecting the suspicious in future attacks. Skilled hunters understand that a large part of their job essentials Skill hunters understand that a large part of their job entails gathering danger data that can be utilized to develop more robust and more effective defenses. So even failure in uh, like detecting a uh, threat is like teaches you something so that you cannot repeat the same steps in the next time. What is Mitre, ATT and CK? Mitre ATT and CK means Mitre Adversarial Tactics, Techniques and Common Knowledge and it is a trademark of Mitre. The Mitre ATT and CK framework is collected body of knowledge and a paradigm for cyber adversary behavior, representing the many stages of adversary attack lifecycle and the technologies they are known to target. What is the use of Mitre ATT and CK? Threat hunters, red teamers and defenders use the Mitre ATT and CK paradigm to identify cyber attacks better and evaluate an organization's vulnerability. What are the different types of threat hunting techniques? Different threat hunting techniques are target driven, technique driven, volumetric analysis, Frequency analysis, clustering analysis, and grouping analysis. What is the primary goal of threat hunting? 
The purpose of thread hunting is to keep an eye on everyday operations and traffic across the network, looking for any irregularities that could lead to a fully fledged breach. Tell me something about threat hunt hypothesis. A threat hunting hypothesis is a theory or proposed interpretation based on minimal data from a secure environment. It is then used as a jumping off point for further inquiry. What is the difference between threat intelligence and threat hunting? Threat hunting and threat intelligence are two separate security disciplines that can complement each other. Subscribing to a threat intelligence feed, on the other hand, does not eliminate the requirement to threat hunt your network. Even if hazards haven't been detected in the wild, a competent threat hunter can detect them. Can you differentiate between incident response and threat hunting? Threat hunting is a hypothesis-driven process that involves looking for threats that have slipped through the cracks and are now lurking in the network. Incident response is a reactive approach that occurs when an intrusion detection system recognizes an issue and creates an alert, whereas threat hunting is a proactive strategy. What is proactive threat hunting? The process of proactively exploring across the networks or datasets to detect and respond to sophisticated cyber threats that circumvent standard rule or signature-based security controls is known as proactive threat hunting. Do you think a threat hunter might Do you think a threat hunter must examine multiple areas? Yes. A threat hunter and the rest of the team should be looking into various areas. Just because you have come up with certain theory doesn't imply that you should limit your investigation to that region. Rather, the threat hunter must look into other areas in order to acquire a complete picture of your IT system. This includes your regular IT systems, virtual machines, servers, and even your production environment. Make sure you have the appropriate backups in place in these cases. What are the two most popular types of threat hunting exercises? The two most popular threat hunting exercises are Continuous Monitor or Testing Mode On Demand Investigation Mode What is Data Leakage? Data leakage is defined as a separation or departure of a data packet from the location where it was supposed to be kept in technical terms, particularly as it relates to the threat hunter. So these are the 15 frequently asked questions related to threat hunting. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Do share this video among your friends. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.